Hi everyone, and welcome to a quick tour from Boris Meter Pods. And um, and yes, it is Boris Meter Pods because I just changed my background quickly and my theme. So um, I'll be showing you guys on how to cre create a flash game trainer. And um, for this video, we're going to be using this game called Flagman. I just found it um, online maybe like a minute ago. It sucks when you're slow and you can't jump for, for crap, right? And this is what I'm going to be doing. We're going to be hacking this game. So, uh, I'll go quickly through what you need. A decompiler. You just type in SWF decompiler on Google. Uh, Visual Basic or Visual Studio. Any version works. And um, you just, just forget about this for a few minutes. Okay, this is all you need for now. Then you're going to go... Uh, empty page, empty tab on our Chrome store. Flash, download, downloader, and then we're, you're gonna install this little extension here by clicking to add to Chrome on this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, or this one. These two, these two, either these two. I don't know what this one does, but yeah. So you're gonna install this, and it should be right here. Um. It pretty much checks whether there is a flash player um, on the screen and then it lets you download it. So let's go here quickly and it should light up. I'm gonna click it and we're gonna do download and um, it should give us this little thing. Um, don't worry about this little, um, it's called the thumbnail on my on my file because you, sh you shouldn't have it anyways. But yeah, so you, so you download it. Um, and we're gonna click it again and we're gonna do copy the clipboard. All right, good. Now we have it all set. Let's go to um, SoulThink, the compiler. Um, click open, browse. Okay. You wanna click right here. I um, think it's an action. Yep, me movie. It's where pretty much all the code happens. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit to see all these goodies here. High level, speed, speed, all this stuff. Now, whatever is zero, don't worry about it. Um, we're gonna we, today we're gonna be talking about max speed, um, max gravity, and jump height. And maybe spikes. I don't know. I haven't tested spikes yet. So let's go ahead and um, minus this up for now. Let's run Visual Studio 2010. Let's just key okay, one of these. Don't like when I have too many projects here. Alright, we're going to create a new project Visual Basic. There's a whole of Windows for application. We we'll call this um, Flagman VIP since our game is called Flagman. Um, I know it's pretty slick in design. Let's open it up a little. Toolbox. We're gonna right-click toolbox. Right here. Anywhere. Choose items. Um. COM components, um, shockwave flash object. We're gonna click on the. Uh, we're gonna click on the, the little checkbox, and we're gonna click OK. Now, you should pretty much have it somewhere around um, at the very bottom here. Double click it. And it should automatically appear on our screen here. Good enough. All right, so this is pretty much. Let's just make it a little, maybe a little, a little bigger. This is where our game is going to be, and we're going to rename this to game. Now we're going to write a text here, and we're going to just say, um, "Flagman VIP by." 
by Boris Media Prods. Okay, who cares? Okay, Boris Media Flag Man VP of Boris Media Prods. And you can put your name in it. Awesome. Um. Now, all right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click this. We do game dot movie equals to this. Now we're gonna go back here, and um, as I said, we're gonna copy the clipboard. We're gonna go back, and we're gonna paste this in. So. If you did this right and you play it, you should have your game in here. Yes. Good. But give me a breath thing is a little too big actually. Might be a little too big. Alright, so now um pretty much all we have is this um same old, same old game. Um with pretty much nothing. It's just a window. Right, but we don't want that. We want to add. Um, yeah, I want to add two buttons for now. We'll just see how this goes. Um, all buttons. One. Um, two. Three. All right. Good. Now let's change the text up a little bit. This is gonna be speed. Um, jump. And um, that, I'm not. I'm not really sure, but okay. Let's try this. Speed is. Um, we're gonna do game. Dot set variable. Um, one square root. Dot. Now dot is we're gonna go back here and we're just gonna do speed. This is speed. We're gonna change max speed because it has a value. This is pretty much the game root of um, um and then you're gonna set the value here. And our speed is gonna be let's add it, let's add, change it up to 150. Now, this should work. It should work. Play. At least you won't do anything for now, but this one should work. Play. Let's turn around. Slow. Let's click speed. Holy balls. We are now freaking. We're flying. But that's not all. Let's click on jump. Copy this stuff here. Um, max jump height. Let's see. Control C. Control V. Okay. Okay. What's the default one here? Twelve. I'm set it to sixty for now. I'll just set it to sixty. I'll see if this works. Play. Alright, so we got our. So I just turned on the speed. Let's turn up the jump. Alright, maybe this is a little. Too, this is, maybe this is a little too much for the jump. Maybe we'll just set it to twenty. I guess that was a little of um 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 too hard of a jump. I guess <laughs> if you flew away. Speed jump should work now. All right, good. Now one more thing: spikes. I'm not, I'm not really sure about these ones, but I guess we could try them. Spikes. In the set variable, go back here. Not sure what these do. I um 
spikes inside to zero. Cause we don't out of cause by logic we don't want them to appear. So let's try this again. Okay, first we actually got to beat this level. I'm not gonna turn on my speed or anything. Oh, it's just pretty annoying. All right, spikes. Let's see if spikes will work. The spikes hack will work. It works, guys. We just disabled spikes for the game, which is fairly awesome. And now we can beat the game. So, guys. Anyways, um, thanks for watching my tutorial. And um, I, my name is Voice Made Pods again. And I, I hope you enjoy. Um, I hope you enjoy my tutorials. Please subscribe to me. I, if you want, I can make more um, trainer trainer tutorials for you guys. Um, yeah. So, anyways, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys.